Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. <laughs> Today is a very fun day. This is what the Purple Monte exhaust currently sounds like. It sounds good, but I'm getting a full titanium exhaust put here, so wait for that video. But right now, I was deciding because I'm selling the R8 in the next few days, and I wanted to find a good replacement. That was a car that was very fun, but I just didn't want to get another supercar. One, because it's just a waste of money to get another one, and especially right now, I don't need the Porsche I keep, and that's going to be my baby forever. It was my first supercar I ever got. Perf Monte is the one that I drive all the time. I don't need a twin turbo R8. It just doesn't really make sense. I'm going to go get an M3. It's in this awesome marina blue, and it has this orange interior that is beautiful. I wanted to build a more relatable car now obviously not everyone can afford an m3 but growing up in san diego and in carlsbad and stuff like this i saw a lot of people that had beamers but also being able to build out an m3 there's so much you can do to it and i feel like that's gonna be a more fun process to be able to track that me and connor are going to be doing most of the stuff to that car instead of bringing it into a shop to do it obviously i don't know everything about cars but it's just a way for me to learn and and experiment with it and figure out what i'm doing <laughs> along the way okay guys i made it here to the dealership i'm so excited i haven't seen this car yet mia gets to drive this car all the way home okay guys so this is the m3 like, oh my God. <laughs> all right guys so whoever had this car they lowered it and they put on works wheels and i actually i love these wheels these are kind of like a more jdm style wheel even though they're on a beam so what i'm curious about this car is the m3 but it's not the m3 competition but it doesn't really matter because i'm going to be tuning the car i'm going to be doing other things to it anyway so it's not really going to matter this paint is the reason why i wanted this car specifically it's called yas marina blue and it is a beautiful color it has this orange interior it's like a reddish orange leather this car is so sick and while this one's not the competition it does have all of the competition specs mia's gonna be driving it home because i have the perf here i'm surprised for someone who put he put coilovers on the car that's why it's so low and he put new rims on but he didn't do anything to the exhaust so i'm surprised by that damn this thing looks good i'm a fan of the m3s are you guys fans of the m3s comment down below okay i'm I'm in the Perf Monte right now, and I'm going, let's say, we'll say the speed limit. Um, and Mia's going way faster. Look at how good this thing looks on the road. And the driver's super hot. Look at her. The fitment on that car is literally perfect. Like, literally perfect. The car just looks phenomenal. We got a lot of work to do to it, but it looks good. Mia's trying to race me. That woman is a psychopath. <laughs> Mia got to drive it first. How was it? You were going uh, a little over double the f***ing speed limit on the way. <laughs> Michael, thoughts? I know. I looked it's down fine. and it said and I was like, Oh, we can't say that. <laughs> but You mean when you were on the Audubon? You were talking about we that time. You were on that freeway. Exactly. That you can go as fast as you want. <laughs> yeah. And I looked down and it said 108 and I was like, Oh my there God. There you go. This car is so clean. The work wheels, fire. Mike wants to drive the M3. Be safe. I love the trust. Yeah, no, don't drive crazy. I Maybe would. a couple poles, one, two poles, that's it. I'm just gonna tell you like the like zero to 60s. Okay, right, cool. Okay, first things first, I need to learn how to turn traction control off. What's that? You'll see. Drop okay. a second. Okay. Yeah, so he's got some pull to it, Tommy. I mean, not 130, 65. Guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy, go ahead with a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you guys have not already. Let me know what you guys think about the F80 M3. Guys, honestly, I'm a huge fan of this car. Do you guys like the wheels that the previous owner had? Or do you guys think I should switch them out? Do you guys think I should go with black diamonds? Do you guys think I should go with some bolos that are on the Euros right now? By the way, guys, wide body is officially done. Video coming on that next week. Just bought down pipes for the M3, and I'm going to be installing those with Alex and Papper. And I did get tire stickers. I know you guys are very against tire stickers. A lot of you guys are not a big fan. I'm doing the Michelin ones. Kind of like how I have them on the Porsche. They're very minimal and people don't necessarily hate them on this car. Um, but I got the Michelin and I got the guy as well as hype car. So it's going to look a little bit better. But I do like tire sticks on a car that I'll be building out. And I did just put in an order on pure turbos for this car. And we're going to be installing those ourselves too. It's going to be kind of a mess. I'm deciding if I should wait on the downpipes and do installing downpipes and the pure turbos at the same time. Or if I should just do a video installing the downpipe. Let me know in the comments below what you guys want to see. I'm going to put in the tire stickers as well. I'm excited to be building this car. 
Let me know what you guys think about the F80 M3 and what you guys think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be tinting the entire car as well as painting the taillights just like I have on all my other cars. Guys, also peep the garage. While well, Alex's cars are gone, I took over all the garage space. We've got the wide body Urus and ooh, video is coming soon on this car. This car is beautiful. We've got the Performante, we've got the GT Theras, the twin turbo R8, the M3. The lineup is looking pretty clean, I'm not gonna lie, guys. R8 is gonna be leaving in the next month or two. I'm still deciding, guys, do you guys think I should keep the R8 or do you guys think I should sell it? I feel like it's a smarter financial move to sell it and build out the M3. I've got the crazy SUV with literally everything spec down on it. I've got the Performante, I've got the perfect track car, literally my favorite car, my baby, the GT Theras. I don't really need the twin turbo R8 anymore, but let me know in the comment section below and subscribe for more content. Love y'all. Peace.